Today we are talking about how to bend stainless steel tubing. So this is what stainless steel tubing looks like. It comes in different lengths and different diameters. Uh, this is half inch stainless steel tubing that I had to install on a oil reclaim system that I designed and fabricated. Um, all the fittings and ball valves you see are all swage lock type fittings, compression style. So to bend stainless steel tubing, you need a stainless steel tubing bender. And the stainless steel tubing bender has degree increments on the uh, tool itself, on the radius block. And you line up the zero mark on the slide bar lines, uh, lines up with the zero mark on the radius block. And the Sharpie mark that you made on the stainless steel tube that you're trying to bend, that mark should line up with the 90 degree mark on the slide bar, as you see in this graphic. And then make sure you lock the radius block, or excuse me, the, uh, the clip, rotate that clip over the tubing, as you see in the picture, to help hold it in place so you can actually bend the tubing. And then as you bend the tubing, that 90 degree mark on the radius block should line up with the zero mark on the slide bar and that should give you your 90 degree bend. You actually want to go just a hair past the 90 degree mark because when you release the tool the stainless steel tubing will have a tendency to sort of spring back and it doesn't quite bend it into a perfect 90. So if you just go just a hair past 90 degrees when you release the tool it'll give you a, a, a nice 90 degree angle you can also bend 45s and other degrees. Um, you want to check the fitment of your your uh, all of your swage lock fittings, and they make a swage lock gap inspection gauge, as you see here. Um, if that gauge slides in between uh, the gap between the nut and the body, um, additional tightening is required. If the gauge will not enter the gap the fitting is sufficiently tightened. This is what a stainless steel tubing bender looks like. And again, these come in for different diameters. So whether you're bending 3 8 or half inch or quarter inch tubing, make sure you get the proper bender for the size tubing you're bending. And on the right hand side, that's what a tubing cutter looks like. And you want to make sure your cutter can cut stainless steel tubing. And you want to make sure you have nice, clean, square cuts. You don't want burrs or jagged edges or uneven cuts in your tubing um, in order to get proper fitment of your fittings. I hope this video helps. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover.